Exercise 20 question number 1. The box is rest on the horizontal table. Uh, draw the force diagram to all the forces acting on the box. So box is on horizontal table. So it is W W is acting on on the middle and R normal reaction because when two surfaces touch together so the normal reaction uh, occur perpendicular to the surface so this is 90 degrees so if I separately show this one this box and this is R and this is W and this is the R4 table so this is box the force diagram for box and this is uh, force diagram for table You will see that very clearly that uh, when I draw that the car on the table or on the road, so R is here, R1, and on the road R2 here. Sorry, R1. According to the Newton law. Every reaction has a uh, same size reaction opposite. So this is R2 and this is R2 and uh, this is the weight W in the middle. So if I break this one, the car is here, sorry. This is the car. Forces are here R one R two and uh, this is W and for road R one and R two. So this is for car, this is for road likewise this is for box this is for table if you want you can now draw this one bit further but sometimes they draw like this without disregarding the table this is this is w and uh, this is the normal reaction r so it means they Disregard the table. Question number two. Trapeze wise is suspended motionless from the ceiling by two ropes. Draw a force diagram to show the forces acting on the rope and the trapeze bar. Uh, this is the ceiling. And uh, it is suspended. Uh, from two rods so this is W and this is uh, tension T is tension and W is okay. so if it is not the same rock what will happen This is W, two different type of ropes, then 
this is going to be t1 t1 and this is going to be t2 t2 and uh, when you consider the bar so this is the for the bar and this is for the uh, hanging place forces of the hanging place. Why it has two type of two different tensions because two different uh, ropes. Here we assume this is uniformly the weight is uniformly distributed. Assume a special bar. It doesn't have uh, the same rope, but. Uh, one side weight is more than this left is weight higher then w is acting on here not in the middle then even the same rope it has t1 t1 and uh, this is t2 t2 so this is for the bar this is the those those are the forces number three ignoring a resistance draw a diagram to show the forces acting on the apple as it falls from a tree so apple yeah when apple falls from a tree just the weight that all that's all if there is a resistance so then we can mark that uh, w and Usually we'll put uh, R. So this is air resistance. But we don't consider because in the sum it clearly mentioned that disregard the ignore air resistance. So then this is the correct one. Question number four. A car engine applies a force parallel to the surface of horizontal road causes the car to move the constant velocity. Consider the resistance to the motion toward diagram to the forces on the car. Now, uh, we usually, we consider car is like a block. So this is the road. So car has a weight W and this is the normal reaction now and it's pulled by P and uh, consider the resistance to the motion because then this surface is not smooth so this is a rough surface that's why they ask us to consider the resistance so the resistance will apply oppo opposed to the moving direction so like this F. So then if you get the car, this is the box P R W and F and in here there is a R to the rod which I didn't draw. So I'm not interested, so I'm not marking uh, those forces. So I only consider the car. So P is the pulling forces. Okay. Power produced by by car. Oh, whatever it is, yes. Forward force. And this is normal reaction. W is weight. And F is friction. Friction force. So all the friction force 
for each and every places point in the surface there is a friction so we will con consider total friction as a f question number five and here see rescue crew member is suspended from a motionless from a helicopter so we need to draw the so helicopter Uh, suspend the particle co member so if the co member has a weight and the rope tension is there for helicopter get the tension so as a co member we only consider the co member in this one so this is T and W so T is tension and W is weight. The satellite, uh, question number six, the satellite orbiting in the earth, earth at constant speed state whether the reason whether any resultant force is acting on the satellites. Yes, it result force is acting on the satellite. This is earth. And then uh, the satellite is uh, rotating uh, sometime it's fixed sometime it is rotating so if it is rotating in the constant speed so speed is uh, uh, constant but the direction is continuously changing so gravitational forces equal the other force and that's how it is um, the question is any resultant forces um, is acting on the satellite yes speed is constant but direction is continuously changing hence velocity is con hence resultant uh, force acting on the satellite and uh, number six number seven a particle of weight high and sit at rest on the horizontal plane state the value of the normal reaction acting on the uh, particle so r is here n is w is here r equal w uh, we know that W is 5 Newton. So then R equal 5 Newton. So proper calculation is we want to put F equal MA to upward or downward. So upward force is R, downward force then W and the mass is M. If it is a particle then um, the particle actually this is not considerable that's fine we'll take it it has a mass and acceleration is zero because there is no movement so r minus w equal zero so r equal w w value is y newton so you can put f equal ma to downward then r is minus r plus w equal m times then a also downward a but zero so minus r plus w equal zero then r equal w equal y newton for common sense we can see that r equal to uh, w with the sense question number eight so each particle is stationary work out the uh, P value so this is 10 Newton and this is P so if we equal MA to any direction this direction P minus 10 equal M times 0 so P equal 
Stehen. Um, the B particle Now we can see that there is no vertical movement because 10 and 10 uh, only it has a horizontal move uh, uh, actually yeah, this is this is stationary no horizontal low uh, vertical movement um, what I want to emphasize is it is clear that this is 10 and 10 then it is clear that there is no vertical movement so we don't need to put f equal ma to this direction and uh, we can but uh, 10 equal to is going to be the answer we'll put f equal ma to this direction for this particle so then p minus 30 equal m times it's not it is stationary then p minus 30 equals 0 p equal 30 part c again uh, this is 10 and 10 so we don't need to worry about the vertical it is balanced already and horizontal also balance but uh, we are interested to find the p value so this p is p and 1.5 p so total p is okay f equal m a to this direction now Bec because i need to find p that's why uh, so in that case p is this direction 1.5 p also this direction and uh, minus 50 is of this direction and m times zero this is the size of weight of a particle and there is no acceleration to this direction zero so this is going to be p plus 1.5 2.5 p e minus 50 equals 0 so 2.5 p equals 50 p equals 50 divided by 2.5 50 divided by 5 divided by 2 so this is going to be 100 divided by 5 is 20 Newton Question number nine. A hoist lift a platform vertically at constant velocity as shown in the diagram. Ignore the air resistance, work out the tension T in each of the tension which is uh, right. Okay. Um, this is T. This is T and this is 400 Newton. We can put a uh, F equal M E upward. So F e is uh, T plus T minus the 400 equal M times. It is moving now with the constant velocity. Velocity constant mean acceleration is zero. In uh, V and T graph constant velocity. Velocity constant mean the gradient acceleration dv over dt equal 0. So then this is 2t minus 400 equal 0, 2t equal 400, t equal 200 in each. Part b the tension is reduced to 50. Now this is 50 and this is 50 and this is 400 now it is very clear that this is uh, greater than uh, 400 is greater than 
hundred. So we have a resultant force of three hundred ne newton to downward. Hence the answer acceleration to down. Yeah, is the answer resultant downward force. Hence it will uh, accelerate downward. Question number ten. The diagram shows a particle acted on a set of forces. Given that the particle is at rest, find the value of P and the value of Q. So we can see that there are two uh, sets. One is uh, to horizontal direction, and other one is vertical direction. So those are the two direction we need to consider. If there are more directions, then for example, this is a particle. So there is apart from the vertical and horizontal there is another another one another force in a different direction then we have to break this uh, uh, direct force into a horizontal line uh, because for a force of this direction has a component to vertical line uh, horizontal so we will break this one for example this is 10 newton then assume this angle is 30 then we break this uh, 10 newton into uh, 10 cos 30 and 10 sin 30 and we will delete this one now we have only again horizontal and uh, vertical so that's how usually we do we will work with this kind of sum in the future uh, uh, consider horizontal direction and there are two direction either this direction or this direction you can select any direction so if we equal m to put I'll put this direction so then uh, P minus 50 is the other direction is m times zero because this is in a uh, this is at a rest it's not moving so p minus 50 equals zero p equal 50 newton now we'll consider the vertical uh, direction so it has to we can put up or downward so i'll stay with uh, what is the this i'll stay with the proper way because i need to find q so it's better to bring q to left hand side why q is bigger so i'll put f equal ma upward so y q minus this is my q, the others are negative, 3p minus, then q plus 10 equal m times, it's not moving into this direction, 0, vertically, so 5q minus 3p minus q minus 10 equals 0, 5q minus 4q, so uh, equal 3p plus 10 so now we know p value so 4q equal 3 times p we found out 50 plus 10 so 160 4qq equal 160 divided by 4 uh, 40 newton why 3p is negative because we put uh, equation to upward positive then this is the other way so it has to be negative then question la number 11 given that particle is uh, in the diagram is moving with the constant velocity with uh, find the p and q now we know that uh, so this is any particle moving in a constant velocity if the velocity is constant then uh, as we discussed earlier this is t and v graph velocity is constant then dv over dt which is a is zero acceleration or we can give the other argument according to newton law either object is in rest or uh, 
moving with the constant velocity so this is moving with the constant velocity uh, if it is moving the constant velocity acceleration is zero according to newton law there should be an another unbalanced external force to change the direction or speed Uh, unbalanced uh, forces is required to change the speed or direction so from both we can either this way or this way the conclusion is acceleration is zero why we need because when we apply a equal ma so this is a is going to be zero instead of telling acceleration is zero they will tell that either it is on the rest or moving in the constant acceleration so now we as usual we consider horizontal um, moment horizontal forces uh, direction so f equal m to this direction so this side is positive then uh, 2p plus q so minus 25 equal m times so that's direction it has a velocity v but acceleration is zero zero because of that 2p plus q minus 25 equals zero 2p plus q equal 25 now uh, vertical vertical direction so uh, if equal m a i'll put this is positive then 3p minus 2q minus 20 equal m times 0 then uh, 3p minus 2q equal 20 now this is a simultaneous equation so i'll multiply by 1 multiply by 2 this is 4p plus 2q equal 50 this is 3 i'll add 2 plus 3 then this is 7 p equal 70 this is cancel out p equal 10 when p equal 10 from 1 from 1 q equal 25 minus 2 p 25 minus 20 which is 5 q equal 5 newton question number 11 uh, work out the size and the direction of the resultant forces describe the motion of the particle now this one this particle uh, we are going to break into two into two two direction either this one or horizontal or ver vertical actually there are no other uh, forces except horizontal and vertical that's good and then we will select one direction so this one is f1 all the forces to this direction f2 so what is f1 mean uh, to the forces this direction i can see that for this one 100 uh, f1 equal 100 uh, minus But consider whole forces resultant forces is to this direction f1 it means 100 minus 100 equals 0 so f1 equal 0 so there is no motion for uh, this direction vertical motion if we get a negative value so it is going to opposite now i will to consider this side f2 then f2 equal 40 minus uh, 20 which is 20 newton to upward now this is 0 and this is 20 it means particle is moving upward so i put uh, if i consider f2 is downward that is also a possibility so 
then f2 is uh, this side is positive 20 minus 40 which is minus 40 minus 20 newton it means it is not this direction for this direction minus newton mean for this direction 20 newton so if you change the direction it will auto correct with the symbol so then finally we can stay with f2 equal 10 new uh, 20 newton so that is the resultant force so i'll change this one f2 and minus 40 plus 40 plus 20 i change the direction again to upward so in this system result then force is upward and uh, and uh, particle accelerates vertically upward next one is this one so we will consider this side of f1 and f2 so this is horizontal and this is vertical so f1 equal 25 minus uh, 5 which is 20 newton so it uh, uh, and f2 equal this is going to be 10 minus 10 0 newton so this particle has only just uh, 20 newton to uh, so this is the resultant forces so it is uh, so the resultant force is 20 newton to the positive x direction means particle accelerate to ox direction ox the truck is moving along the horizontal level number 13 uh, the truck's engine provides the forward thrust to 10,000 Newton. The total resistance is model constant. The magnitude 1,600. Uh, model the truck particle. So we have to model the truck. This is simple. This is a particle. It is touched to the road. Then it has a normal reaction now. A normal reaction. And this is W weight. And forward thrust uh, uh, 10,000 Newton. And the friction. Friction is usually we have to mark, but it is it will mark like this 1600 Newton friction. And calculate the resultant force of the acting on the truck. So basically, now this is simply a truck is not flying, so there is no upward movement. So this is only one movement, uh, in that is going to be horizontal. Uh, so the, I will consider this movement. This side is F1. So F1 is uh, uh, this side is positive, uh, 10,000 minus 1,600 this is going to be 8400 newton to this direction so this is the resultant so this kind of thing we can disregard the, the vertical uh, movement because it's not uh, lift upward or sinking downward
because uh, vertical poses are balanced. Question 14. A car is moving along a horizontal level road. The car's engine provides a constant driving force. The motion of the car is opposed by the constant resistance. So this is the car. So it has a forward thrust. Uh, car is engine provides a constant driving force. This is the driving force for this direction. Uh, it has a weight on the road and it has a normal reaction and also we have to consider the friction if this is a normal reaction and this is weight and this is friction force friction suppose I'll consider this one is as P. Now, part B, given the resultant force is acting on the car is 4200. So this is the car. I draw again this. So we don't consider a vertical movement because it is on the road. No lift or no sink. And then we have only two forces P and F. And so this one, I'll consider this. Uh, moving forward this is F1 so this is the resultant forces so F1 equal P minus uh, okay this is F resistant F R R with resistant now F1 is given in this sum 4200 okay 4200 and uh, given that the magnitude of driving force is eight times the magnitude of resistant force if the resistant force is uh, fr is x then p is 8x so then this is we'll take in terms of x this is 8x minus x so 7x equal 4200 so x equal 600 uh, so calculate the magnitude of this uh, the magnitude so fr x equal 600 newton